What's up guys, BND Gaming here, and today we are going to be covering the brand new Transforming Vegeta unit in Dokkan Battle. So this unit is coming out on Saiyan Day, which is March 18th, which I believe will be around late Sunday night, so around late Sunday night and Monday is when the maintenance will come and then they'll release the banner. So let's get started uh, with the actual physical transforming Vegeta. So he is a pure Saiyans uh, category lead. He is the 150% lead. So if you do not have the transforming Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, or you prefer a more rounded approach instead of the defensive lead that Vegeta is, this will be a great unit to summon for. So this Vegeta has the nuking ability that a lot of units have been getting lately in Dokken. And in his first form, he starts off with attack and defense plus 80% and 6% per key orb obtained. But as you see, it gradually goes up each time he transforms. By the time he gets to his uh, Super Saiyan Blue form, it is attack and defense 120% an attack plus 10% per key sphere and he changes the whole whole field to key orbs so he can get one big nuke off as kind of like a final hit and uh, I think that that will be really amazing and he will hit crazy hard yes there's no doubt that this is going to be a great unit but I believe that this unit can be skipped because we have the year four banners coming. That is just my personal opinion, but I will be saving for the year four banners because I believe that they have much more cost and they are a much better uh, price for your stones. Now Drew isn't trying to say that this unit is bad. He is just saying that the LRs that are coming out will be better, which I agree with, but I will be summoning for this unit because I feel like he will help me out with my teams because the pure Saiyan category is the largest in the game and he is a very good unit and he will help out any pure Saiyan unit to come out because the 150% as his leader skill is way better than 130% to attack that the Evolution Blue Vegeta has in my opinion. Yes, yeah, so we will be getting you guys some summoning videos out later when uh, this unit is actually released okay so now we're going to move on to the super vegeta that is going to be released with the transforming vegeta so this unit is he's a nice unit but i mean obviously if you're going to summon you want the transforming vegeta uh, there's nothing too special about him he gets a nice he has a nice uh, average attack and defense plus 80 percent but what makes this card better than average is uh, he can get an ad additional attack and defense plus 120 percent depending on the hp remaining and this works like the uh, lr super saiyan blue vegeto i like how doken is handling the new non doken fest turs that are on banners as of lately like with the super saiyan blue gogeta and the brawly banners where they release the god goku and vegeta and the uh, base form brawly who are both, all three of them are some of the best TURs in the game now. And um, this Vegeta as well will be very good. And if you're up against an Android category unit, which I wouldn't say you'd come across a bunch in the game, but maybe down the road you will, he gets a guaranteed critical hit, which is very nice if taking on an event that you know there will be an Android category unit. So now let's move on to what I'm very excited for, and that is the uh, Family Gallic Gun uh, Trunks and Vegeta uh, EZAs. So these, I believe that this EZA is going to be very similar to the Family uh, Kamehameha, and that it will just be one EZA, and you will get both sets of uh, EZA medals as you go through it. Now, the only thing I don't like about that, if that is true, is instead of getting 30 or 60 stones, you will get 30 stones, but it's, it's alright. Yes, and uh, they're clearly making 
this EZA for the Vegeta lineage team because as you can see in both of these units passives they have uh, a correlation that uh, Vegeta's lineage category uh, ally present so the Vegeta gets attack and defense plus 30 percent for all allies if two or more Vegeta's lineage uh, categories are present while the Trunks gets uh, attack and defense plus 70 percent uh, for the same reason now the Vegeta gives 30 percent for all allies when there's two or more Vegeta lineages categories present which he will be a very good support unit and um, hopefully he can hit a little hard I would like to see some support units in the game that are actually capable of hitting some decent numbers so yes yeah, so I'll be very interesting because this Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, when he first came out, he was a pretty, he was an above average unit. And I mean, as new units have been made, obviously he's fallen off a little bit. But hopefully, with this EZA, it can make him be one of the few support units that can actually uh, deal out a decent amount of damage. So this was our opinion on the uh, new units coming out, and uh, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out our other content. Uh, Subscribe if you're uh, just now seeing our videos, and yeah.